Welcome to the Linux Mint 18.2 Sonia edition. We've done a clean install and I've made a tutorial about i3 and installed it on Cinnamon. And I just want to show you guys that whether it's an XFCE or it's an uh, Cinnamon, it really doesn't matter. You should go to the GitHub of Erigawa to get all the files to install i3. i3 is a tiling window manager is quite fun and uh, interesting to learn because of the speed low cpu usage low memory usage and it's just um, fun to see right we have now the url we go to the file manager which is in this case tunar since we have xfce create ourselves a folder so we know whatever is in data needs to be backed later. Maybe that's up to you. Anyway, git is not installed. sudo apt install git. The same as in Cinnamon. I do not install it out of the box. Too bad. But it's the way it is. Whoops. Two up. And then this one. So we have an folder this is the folder this is i3 this is the configuration of i3 and all the rest is needed as well of course but this is your hidden folder um, dot config slash i3 gonna be but first we need to install a lot of stuff we need to install or this one first second third fourth fifth six seven eight nine ten or we just run one and that's this one so this is pointing to that one and that one and that one and that one and so on so basically it's easier to just say I run this one automatic installation and then everything is just fine automatic installation let's take a quick look so what it does is it's going to run this one that one that one and so on in a certain sequence and the last one is copy copying the i3 files to the i3 folder the hidden one so what's in here, the dependencies needed to install this. What's this? This is a dependency to install this. And this is finally i3, done with gaps. So meaning you can have a space between windows, between uh, yeah, applications that are open, terminals that are open, stuff like that. You have a gap in between. If you don't want a gap, you don't. You just set the border to or the inner border and outer border and so on to zero and then everything is just uh, next to each other and you have a regular gap or regular i3 the rest is uh, extra programs that we're going to install extra programs just the simple normal things like you see you just go over them and whatever, whatever you think you don't need you just delete it because it's no fixed thing you can copy paste you can use this code this work that i've put in I say okay i don't want to have firefox i want to have google chrome and so on just hashtag in front of it and it will not run anymore and copy paste and add google chrome or chromium or anything vivaldi is already installed but then the snapshots so maybe you liked a stable one and then the fonts fonts are here two fonts just for conkeys and for um, the bar and then the icons will be installed and icons are in here three programs to install all the icons that you can have or want and then the themes the same applies here lots of themes will be installed installed the theme mint y the dark one you know that one that uh, gets installed uh, we can take a look later and then the art colora collection which is the arc theme which is normally a blue accent but you can change to any color so that's the Arc Colora GitHub that I have. And then we're here, install some applications. So it's pointing to a few scripts and the scripts are located here. This doesn't work yet. Uh, maybe it will never, but I'm gonna try anyway. So these things will be installed. I'm definitely gonna need this one later on, screen key, to show you what I type. And then the personal stuff, we're already at Spotify here, somewhere was Spotify, um, fine. So the personal stuff, what's this? 
not much actually. I just want GNOME screenshot to be a GPG rather than a PNG and some GIMP scripts and themes and that's it. And Ctrl H, some coloring codes that we start with a nice beautiful uh, color and theme and icon and so on. So that it's not ugly when you reboot into i3. And then this one, the the really important one is the is actually this completely folder, this i3 folder is gonna be copied to a hidden folder. We're not there yet, but it will get in here. There we will have received an i3 folder and we can boot into it. Let's see what happened already. The fonts is here not blanco. Um, what have we done already? Maybe some teams already. We have 90 teams we can choose from. I have to press yes here on the other hand. So all themes are here. 90 themes to choose. And icons have we 140 items. That means you have a lot of choice. We have to go to here I guess. Appearance. And we have some choice. Um, these colors will never work. I mean, they're all green as you can see, but that's because, well, we are delivered with a PNG and as you well know, you can't change a PNG from color, but we can change it here. So let's go to Mint White Dark Casablanca, for instance. And that goes together with something Casablanca-like. So here we have all the icons, so a lot of icons you can choose from, a lot of colors doesn't slow your system down at all as you can see when I scroll over it you just select whatever you like I'm looking for the Casablanca this one Sardi Mano Papyrus Colora Casablanca so that's done fonts maybe a little bit bigger okay and close Ooh, too big anyway you have the look here so that's okay that's how it looks Let's change the font a little bit smaller again. Let's try with 10. Okay. So let's make it big, a bit bigger here. Mm -hmm. This can be a little bit bigger because of I want to see it on YouTube afterwards. Come on, in the middle. So everything has been done. What does he say? Log off and log on with i3. Auto script is terminated. Fine. But roll, scroll up here. If you want to have ZSH, it's installed. But once, if you do not type this sentence in, you still have bash. So if you really want to have ZSH, you do should type something like this. So you don't change the shell for Eric and switch to bin zsh that's it so now next time when i log off and log on i will have something else so as you can see a lot of choices uh, let's have a look if this is possible here as well properties yeah you can change the icon do not like the icon one bit but that's just personal taste but i love linux mint system that's something else so logging off is not yeah is this this one log out okay log out eric and then you have here this little mouse and on this mouse we have i3 and now we're gonna boot into i3 i'm gonna wait and see what pops up so okay everything finished let me start first the screen key no not yet installed so i go to 8 we go to data linux mint and we are actually by choice in Nemo, by choice, I want Nemo rather than Tunar in this case. I want this and this and this and this and this. Okay, now I have this button here, but wait a moment. I still have to go into installation, into application, and I want to install this one. Okay. That's that. Screen key. And now I have a little program. 
preferences. The only thing I'm doing now is making sure you see what buttons I'm pressing, like this one. Okay, we want variety to get away, so yes, no thanks, and close. What happens, we have this little icon here, we can move over it, and you'll see in the back that our wallpaper is changing, and that's just fine. Remember we're in i3, I've made a nice con key here, I've made a nice con key there, so we have some shortcut keys, and the shortcut keys are all inside config. Let's get to know our configuration system. So we get rid of this, we don't want to see that again, yes we want to help, and then file, open folder, go to Eric, control H, config, and then we have i3. And opening not a file, but a complete folder. This is your heart. This is your heart and your brain. That's how I say it always. Because everything in the configuration file is what i3 is and does. Anything you a typo or anything, you get a red banner and something is wrong. I have to check line number such and such and figure it out. But Control Z is a very powerful tool. And if it does not work, then you go to the GitHub again and get this file because it's the heart and the brain and can break things. And you should read it because it says here mod 1 F3 no startup XFCE4 app finder. So Alt F3, then normally, normally I think you have something that you recognize. You have to get really to the, the border, it's a bit tricky. Let's make it a bit bigger and move it about. So all of this, these shortcuts things, uh, this is pressing super and then moving it like so. Or this one is also an interesting one. Move the floating and not floating, the tiling. So this is a tiling manager. And we can quit whatever the mouse is on, which is active, can be deleted. So that's just one line I have explained. So it's filled with a lot of things like this uh, mod F12 or mod F11, probably, sorry. <laughs> so all these things are in here. Please check them out. Where are they? Well, here we find some of them here, but you can't put all these shortcuts in Gongi. You really need to read this. And then, like for instance, the mod shift R, you change something in the configuration, mod shift R, and it reloads your configuration file. Quick look at the wallpaper, and with Alt, arrow, new wallpaper, new wallpaper, new wallpaper, and so on. Okay, let's talk about workspaces. One is workspace for the browsers, two is a workspace for any text editor. Genie, Sublime Text, Atom. Three, just press Super F3 and there you go. Then you know it's for Inkscape. Super F4. So it's all filled with uh, shortcuts and it's up to you to find them. Okay, to read them actually. And then five is, is Melt for instance and pictures and all that. Six is VLC and video stuff. F7 is all virtual box in VMware. 8 is a file manager, whatever it is. If you want Tunar, you get Tunar. 9 is uh, all the mail stuff. And 10 is our music. If you don't have Spotify, then you get rid of the line. Then no, the only thing you have to do is go here, control find, Spotify. Okay, next one, find, 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 find. And here it says star Spotify. If you change this with start Clementine, start uh, dead beef, uh, start anything, well, it just gets started. If you say no music for me, just put a hashtag in front and nothing happens with the line. So that's uh, super. All right, so these workspaces, we have um, 10 monitors actually, 10 workspaces. And it is really fun for i3 stars become awesome if you can say and it's written in the script here somewhere that one two three four five goes to screen one and six to ten goes to screen two and then you will really have a wonderful beautiful real estate of your pixels so but if you don't uh, one screen 
is good because you'll have 10, 10 workspaces then. Anything else I can say? Um, don't think so. If at all you have problems and you wonder what to do, well, let's make a little bit of publicity. I've done enough work for it. All i3 articles are here. And if then still you say, not sure what to do, I have this kind of problem, then you type in i3wm, improved tiling windows manager, go to the docs, go to the user guides, read it. Again, it's like uh, the expression you find on the internet, read the fucking manual. But that's how I accumulated all the knowledge, read. So that's a good source, this is a good source. If you get stuck, uh, lots of movies, ah, can I be a little bit more specific? You can listen to any of these tutorials. It doesn't matter, i3 is um, i3. Whatever distro you're on, any uh, uh, tutorial on YouTube about i3 will help you. Okay, so um, that's, I guess, my final advice. Read this. These are all the elements in here. Don't see anything I want to explain right now. Um, the last thing I want to do is the, the text here. It's a bit small to my taste and it's a bit tricky. So that's a good idea to end with that. So what if we don't want these icons? What if we don't want this blue and all that? We press uh, Super Shift T. Yeah, Super Shift T. Remember words like Alex Appearance. We want to have a program called Alex Appearance. Let's start, take something that's obviously different. Obviously different is a dark, Mandy Dark is a red team. And we're gonna take an icon team that's as well red. Why not Mandy, yeah. And all the rest, mouse cursor is breeze snow, font and all that, apply. And then you say, nothing happens. Control Shift. Q, restart it again, nothing happens. Okay, it's broken. No, it's not. Super X, and then you have here this banner down here, and you have to walk out in this case. That's enough. Restart is also possible. Go back inside, and there you go. You see already that everything is fixed. The size of the fonts is fixed. The colors is red and is Mandy and you can have as many of these things by side, side by side, because it is a tiling manager. And why not the terminal? The terminal is also very ugly. We can pimp that as well. Let's pimp the terminal. What is this actually? It's the GNOME terminal. Okay. Let's make the GNOME terminal nicer. So a custom font. Monospace is not a good idea, I guess. Um, I wonder. Well, it's okay. Ah, by the by, this is ZSH kicking in. Did you see? Another kind of look. Another kind of look. Greetings, Earthling. And another kind of look. Okay, so these are these random, uh, random themes from oh my zsh so the last thing i want to do is get rid of the title show menu bar don't like this menu bar on top and for the rest we don't have to tell the transparency maybe a little bit more transparent scrolling no scroll bar and that's it this is how i like to be like a terminal to be like so that's okay and then we can do a screen fetch to the people. Oops, not installed, new fetch, that's installed. So here you have my settings, my engine, etc., etc. So I guess that really concludes the, the tutorial, but <laughs> still one to do. It might be a problem from some of the, the, the applications. So that's why I'm telling you, you'll waste a lot of time if you don't know this. There is also a little program called qtconfig-qt4. For some of the 
in the programs we have we, we need to change this element here uh, sometimes like so then so and then here the fonts maybe anyway if everything is set right save and go check if your application is then set properly properly so that's the idea alt f3 sublime text let's take a look for instance something else double click nothing is happening it's broken again eric what did you no no it's red down here it means it's a text editor it will pop up on workspace 2 together with adam so both of them are there now and if you want to maximize this one you just full screen it super f oh yeah i logged in and logged out again screen key is gone away so if i press ctrl super f super f super f or this fun stuff like uh, this one moving from side to side and other stuff like for instance this one anything is possible it's a tiling manager it has a nice uh, look to it but of course that's a personal opinion so if you like it you can follow some tutorials and get to know i3 a little bit better and that concludes the tutorial